have released the dog. I blow a Rick the Gamer, do a 100% hammer, bro. Yeah. If no one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yeah. Yeah. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Yeah. Maybe RTS, yeah. RPG, or maybe even yeah. MMM. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, and we're back for the next video as promised for Lucid Adventure. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> this time we're going to talk about who you should buy first. Who you should buy first. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, because I know that's a question that you probably asking like man i ain't got all this currency i want to buy a character but i don't know who's the best character for me to buy <clears> hmm <throat> gamer could you help me out with that sure i can sure i can sure i can and let me tell you how i'm gonna do that for you <clears throat> first we're just gonna look at our normal little battlefields here hold on let me clear my throat for a second so we're gonna look at our little battlefields for a second Still haven't talked, still haven't went into the origin because I've been working on these videos and everything. So we're not going to even worry about what the origin is because that's not even the earlier parts of the game anyway. That's a little bit later on into uh, your gameplay. But we have the Battle Forest, which has a mixture of magic and physical type enemies that you will come up against. Generally, one team is usually good from my experience so far all the way up through here. I might swap a character in and out, uh, but we're going to talk about what you need to bring into the battles as well. Then you can only bring physical uh, DPS into the near Cobalt Castle because it says immune to magic attack. Don't mean you can't use those characters. It's just you're gonna have. They're either gonna do no no. They're gonna either do very minimal damage or no damage at all to the enemy. So it's not wise to bring those in. But when you're starting off, you're not really gonna have a choice of who you have right off. The same way with you can't bring physicals into Old Castle Dan Dan. So now. What you're going to focus on is really what it boils down to. Like right now, I'm just going like after I clear one stage and get a new record, then I go to the next one. So the next one I'm going to do will be near Kobo Castle, which we're going to jump right into. <clears throat> then after I'm done with that, I'm probably just going to go to uh, Ocastle Dada uh, right after then back to Battle Forest. That's just the way I'm doing it, just to really get the grass and see what's going on so I can give you guys content. Outside of that, I personally believe you should focus towards one and build something, build something more towards because you're going to still need each, you're still going to need magic and physical uh, characters. But I personally believe that you should focus towards one more so than the other. Like, don't f forget or neglect the other, but just put more so of your resources towards one side than the other rather than spreading yourself out, kind of like how I am. But it's for the content, it's for the content. It's for you guys out there, whoever's watching. <clears throat> so, we're going to talk about some of the characters once we get in here. So, we're going to go ahead, start it on up, choose our team. So, they're immune to magic, so we can't bring none of our magic users. So, we're going to take you out. Uh, everybody else is non magic. All right, one thing that's going to be important, um, want to be important is to have at least one character that can attack uh, airborne enemies. They, they automatically give you uh, Dark here at the beginning, but Dark is magic, so he's not really going to be that great. He still will help you. He still be able to help you out. He won't be able to do much to the ground enemies, but the air enemies, he still kind of do something when you start off. So if you choose to go to the Kobo Castle as your main source first, you're going to want to invest into Tempest here. Tempest is going to be your dude because he has, he uses guns and he's um, got that range type of uh, DPS so to speak yeah something like that he uses guns so yeah guns pretty much sealed the deal all right before we enter now for old dan dan you have a couple you have a, a couple options to go here i say dark is still really good uh i still need to learn characters names here but uh this chick here 
can't remember what her name is, but uh, I end up getting her as one of the first picks. It was mostly as a replacement for Dark because she's like airborne. She does a little bit more damage and she got CC, but it's not important. Who I would recommend is this. Well, I clicked her off. It's uh, her right here, Pooh. Pooh because she's a magic tank. And. Okay, I swear blue stacks is with that little bling -bling -bling sound every time but uh she's a magic tank so she will replace she will replace warrior for your uh for your tank spot you can still use warrior he's solid i mean he's even he, he even have like abilities that could you know protect protect him a little better against the enemies here but he's not going to do any damage where Pooh will still do uh more damage just because she's more suited to go up against these enemies since she's a magic tank and um you can't use physical uh, units here or you just shouldn't bring physical units here you can use them but you shouldn't bring them so those are the number two picks tempest and Pooh for uh who you should in my opinion believe pick first so let's go ahead because we're doing this one next and we need to bring one of our physical ones i was just using him because i just bought him we still got one more left our last airborne magic dps which i think he really is good because i see him a lot in the pvp and he destroys but uh i think he's really good once we get there i believe that's light still learning the characters oh who are we gonna use here? I'm trying to mix things up. We'll take Warrior out. See if we can use her as our tank. And we're gonna warp some stages too, you know? Yeah, yeah, we could warp it first. Clear some stages really fast. We can always swap them out later. Alright, so we uh, got this ready. What we get? Warp, please. Yep, warp distance. Thank you. Give us our plus five, and we're just gonna let that build for now. <laughs> so, you, you should know now you get a bunch of resources as you go along. I probably got a bunch I should be collecting. We're gonna do that, because I wanna be, get another, I wanna get the last character before we have to grind to uh, stage 4,000, floor 4,000. Okay, we got enough to buy them. So we're going to get them ready for when we do the next fight. Or when we go to Dan Dan, rather. Once we get to Dan Dan, we're going to be alright. And be able to do some things. Alright, so we're going to let that... I'm glad this collect all function works relatively well. I mean, it, a little bit of a low time, but it does its do. It does its do. Which, mad respect for that. I wish I would have collect some of this while I was uh, AFK in earlier, but I was working on so many other things, playing other games that I'm playing. You know how it is. You got other games you're playing, so it's like you want to be able to focus in on that new, that new crack, that new, that new drive, that new woman in your life. But uh, you still messing with that old thing, that old thing thing. You know. All right, let's collect some of our stuff here. Get us some good stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 some epic stuff. I like epics, or heroic, whatever you want to call them. We're going to need all of that anyway. All right. Uh, we're not going to collect all this stuff right now. We'll collect this after. We'll collect the rest of our goodies after I'm done with this video. I don't want to take all of your time. just want to take some of your time. So we're going to go in here and buy our last character so we can test them out and give you guys an opinion on him later on i probably do a, like my own personal tier list or whatever of how i rate the characters but I, i'm not quite sure maybe if you guys would like that then i could but um i think everybody is useful in some instances everybody has a usage some just better in other areas than and i probably do it like that what areas that these characters are better in so okay we're warping what what areas these characters are better in than others and that probably be something that i do later on down the line just so you guys can all know what's what and 
be all happy and that you're able to play games and all that stuff. Okay, so like I was saying, let's take a look at Tempest here. She's phys physical dude, does does uh, some considerable things and this is where like all of what you're gonna really need to know about your characters not just even me just telling you like yo this is good for this or this is good for that this is what i this is pretty much me reading this and figuring some things out and just learning how they pair well with each other which uh and i probably go into like talking about investing into some of these kids it's like Right now, I'm just all over the place investing, but I probably end up going back and figuring out what is the best way to invest into your characters. So you're not just wasting points, you know, all the time. So you can be as efficient as possible, unlike myself. Because, you know, it's for the content. It's for the content. And, and it, we uh, are going into this game blind. So since there's nobody else doing it, I will take that responsibility as long as you guys like that. If not, then, I mean, there's other games out there that I'm looking forward to coming out. So, yeah, that too. So, we're probably going to invest into him some more here. And the same with, with Pooh. Like, she's able to summon these little zombies, little undead things. I can actually invest in this and get my third one, which will be great for my next fight. I'll probably just do that. Done. All right. Nope, we still only summon two zombies. Alright, so, uh... It says up to three. Maybe I shouldn't invest it into that. Alright, we wasted points. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, but we're learning. See, at least now you know, don't invest into this early on. Maybe something later on, because it's really expensive. Like, when you when I first got her, I couldn't even put any points into it, because I just wasn't getting enough. Because I, I think I was getting enough experience for A, but not B. And most things start off at like A. So it's like ugh, B. That's crazy. Alright. But that's pretty much that's pretty much it. It's simple, straightforward. I mean, the other characters are good. They're decent. The last four characters you gotta get to floor four thousand on battle fours before you can even be qualified to unlock them. So I know nothing about these characters other than what their skills are. And they all look really strong. So whenever I get a chance to unlock them, hopefully I'm not stuck behind a paywall uh, but or a large wall at that and still able to get a, enough F2P gems to buy the characters. And um, I will cover that as well. But for now, we finally got all of the regular characters we're going to invest in. Um, I still say ho ho ins is the best thing to invest in all around when you start off. I try to max as much of it out as possible so I can get the most as I can. Because you see, now I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting them just do their thing. We haven't plussed anything at all. And like I'm already up to 600A and it costs me 1A to level up. So I can just throw this all the way up to like 200 or something to plus 200. Or as far as I can go. And now we're up to 16C per second. So that's just going to shoot up real quick. A little bit of my little strategy on how I uh, go about doing it. So you can get through levels pretty quickly. As well as hitting this two times. Usually I, do, I, uh, usually I do the two times. I do the two times but uh, for the ad. But we're going to just do it three times real quick for the gems i don't do those as much because that's more of a pay to play aspect than a uh free to play aspect but i do utilize it though especially going through these early stages because it takes so long to get through them but um all right we're gonna cut it here i'm not gonna say any more about any of the extra stuff because there's so much to this game so much i want to talk about so if you did enjoy if i helped you out in some kind of way smash that like button because it's there for a reason. There, If you didn't like it, there's another button for that. Because the worst thing you can do is not hit any one of those buttons at all. Um, you can also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because, you know, that greatly helps me uh, get to a thousand. So I can get monetized again. Because I was demonetized back in 2017 for 
they're changing policies and all of that. But that's another story. As well as turn those post notifications on because we're gonna pump out some content until I'm either bored, tired, or you guys just don't want any content for this game. Uh, and that is it. So catch you later. Much love. This is your host, GamerDude2088, and I'm out. Deuces.